Okay, and welcome everyone to this week. We are going to be starting up with Team Awful Neutral in Curse of Strahd in a few minutes. Um, say hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I had, to, I had to be that person. <laughs> um, last week, the group managed to, even though they were missing Theron, make their way into Strahd's castle after a little few interesting detours. Um, they were stopped in town. They were, um, like, almost attacked by one of the town guardsmen. And then they talked their way out of it, which I was pretty impressed by, because they're not a massively talky group. Not, well, that, I'm, not. not that I'm saying anything mm -hmm. there. Um, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> they, um, then Slam. on their way to the castle, managed to run into a group of zombies and a revenant, and the revenant helped them kill the zombies, and then gave them a whole new mission. Yay. For it's... undead things giving us missions. Guys are working with zombies. He was a good zombie. Was a you were there, zombie. man. You I were there. I go away for one week and you bring back goddamn zombies. <laughs> I don't know, we leave you alone for one night and you turn into a bat. That's not all, also true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Theron Damn has man. been purposefully not briefed on what's going to happen to him. He is going to join us at some point tonight, but he has no idea what's happened or what's going on. And there's a good reason for it. And you'll see, hopefully, when we play. But because bats have an intelligence of three, <laughs> and Theron, Theron has an intelligence of lower. Um, Aww. <laughs> but yeah, um, the we very we ended the last week's session with the group coming face to face with Strad in their um, in his own castle in his domain, and for the first time they are on Strad's terms. Well, they're always really on Strad's terms, but. Now they're face to face with him in his dining room. <laughs> Good luck, guys. <laughs> oh, yay. So this is going to be very, very interesting. As the three entered the room, they were disturbed. They almost disturbed Strahd's playing of his <coughs> pipe organ. He was quite happily drumming away and going nuts on the keys. Ganondorf, is that you? Tickling those ivories. <laughs> I think technically Strahd's older than Ganondorf. The original Curse of Strahd, like the original Ravenloft is old. But he stopped, stood up, turned around to face the party, and with a very deep bow, Welcome to my home, everybody. My name is Strahd von Zarevich, and I am pleased to welcome you to dinner. As he says that, um, a servant pulls a cloth and as he pulls the cloth off the table tons of beautifully ornate food just as if as if my magic springs to existence the smells alone are making your mouth water there's there's um, roast beef roast ham there are three different kinds of um, bird lying there cooked on the table glasses of wine there are places enough for 12 people but you three seem to be the only guests present here with Strad. And he waves a hand towards the table. Please, would you join me? You know, this is all rather impressive for a dead man who can't eat. <laughs> I, don't, I don't say that alive, I'm just making an OC note here. I don't know what makes you think he can't eat normal food. Just stereotypical vampireness. That, did you just you know. assume his eating habits? I did. Oh, how dare you. I am triggered. <laughs> you just expect him to be all like, blah, blah, blah. Can't blah. Be. <laughs> blah. <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> so, as Strahd waves his arm and he takes his own seat, he looks up at you and says, I would rather not ask a second time. Sonora dashes towards this chair. <laughs> I casually. I say casually, carefully, I think it's more the word I'm looking for. Carefully walk over to a chair and proceed to sit. I cautiously walk over because there's a smell of all this food and my wine. Oh, 
May is like in her element right now, but this is also the guy that's been messing with him quite a bit, so she just cautiously takes a seat and just looks at all the food like, ah, oh, yes. <laughs> I have to say, I love how we've all taken the seats furthest away from him. <laughs> I don't think that's the wrong choice, to be fair. <laughs> As you sit down, Strahd looks over to the wall to his left, to the north on your map, and he goes, And what about you? Will you be joining us? And as he does so, Theron, you find yourself stood in the shadows, your eyes adjusting to the sudden brightness of the room. <laughs> Theron? He's just pulled a Gandalf, hasn't he? Snuck off somewhere, <laughs> killed a Balrog, leveled up, and now he's back from <laughs> <at> teleport station. <laughs> you guys hear me fine. We can now. Yep. Sorry, I didn't know why. Um, I was saying, where, <laughs> where am I? Please, Theron, come join us. Well, this isn't the weirdest day I've ever had, and Theron will go sit down. Theron, you seemed to be walking the opposite direction from Velaki. I thought it would be best to bring you to not miss your invitation. Of course. Thank you. And Theron, you have no memory of what happened. You left Velaki and headed west towards the tower that um, Rictavio told you about. But you remember the mists closing in and then nothing until this moment. Oh my god, it's real life. <laughs> I'm always happy to be here. Well... It is very good to see you join us, even if it wasn't entirely of your own volition. I would not want you to be late. Please, everyone, eat, drink. And as he says that, the wine glasses fill themselves from the decanters that are in front of you. I like this place a lot. <laughs> I'll take a drink. <laughs> Strahd lifts up a glass as well. To your good health, and he raises a toast to you before taking a sip. The launcher. I shall raise a toast as well, but good I am but totally I didn't rolling an insight. I was about to say, <laughs> I'm uh, not rolling insight before drinking this wine. Nara's going to raise her glass but not drink anything, because last time she accepted food from someone else it did not go well, and she remembers. <laughs> Oh, Lenara, also, you find him exceptionally charming, more so than everyone else at this table. <laughs> you see him as a very good friend of yours, and he is definitely to be trusted. <laughs> oh! Like, yes, you are drinking. But I'm never yes. gonna dance again. <laughs> Amara, Bray, as far as you can tell. He's just being a good host. He's offering you food and drink. There's nothing wrong okay. with this Okay, so he's, he's not s expecting us to drop dead after eating. Doesn't seem to be. Deception <laughs> rank 30. I don't, I don't think I have any way of telling if this food is poisoned. <laughs> just wait till Ray starts eating it. Yeah, I'll 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 I, I will wait and watch Ray, and if Ray conks out dead, I'm not touching it. <laughs> if, if she's fine, I will, I will eat things. That's not the way I want to do things, but Ray seems to be real, real okay with eating this food. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ray is totally on board. She has a sip of this wine, starts pulling all this different meat onto a plate, like, oh, yes. Starts eating it. <coughs> Oh, okay. Oh, You'll yes. die happy. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, can you roll me a Yo. constitution saving throw, please? Oh, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was for the good of the team. <laughs> oh, the worst thing is, it's just because you didn't say grace. How dare you? <laughs> oh. oh, no. I've typed the wrong thing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh... Online rolling is much more annoying than regular dice rolling. Uh, Ray, you feel like, like this is probably the best food you've had since you arrived in Barovia. This is delicious. You don't know where it came from or who provided it, but you love it and you want more. 
Even more worrying than dying of poison. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> That's it. He's trying to fatten this up. <laughs> then Ara notices nothing out of the ordinary. She just sees Ray enjoying some food. <laughs> A little too much. As far as the rest of you can tell, this is just how Ray eats. Like, she's <laughs> pretty much going about her regular business of grabbing food, shoveling it into her mouth, drinking wine without taking real breaths. She's, you know, <laughs> how Ray is. Standard. <laughs> okay. Standard is Strahd eating food or just drinking the wine? Of... Strahd just seems to be drinking the wine. He has actually is it red drink... wine? It is red wine. All of the wine you're drinking is red wine. Oh, the sure wine. <laughs> Does it smell like wine? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I'd roll for that. I'll say perception. You're using your senses to try and. Oh. Amara seems perfectly normal. Lenara seems perfectly normal. Oh. It seems like normal red wine. I will casually drink this red wine. Please tell me about your journeys. It seems you've been very busy since um, you were brought here. Been enjoying the countryside. Keeping <clears throat> ourselves entertained. Oh, if enjoying the countryside means you're killing a lot of the plant life, then I would agree with you. They attacked us. <laughs> it has a point. Plants are uh, relatively hostile. Oh, but this is Barovia. We make sure that our people are strong. Yes, we proved our strength then. You did. <coughs> that poor tree and all of his children. It's so sad. And I take yeah. it you've spoken with Madame Eva. Madame who? And then I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> Nara would be because she was not there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this woman? I've heard so much about her. <laughs> I'm not really sure we need to tell you what we've been up to. It seems like you uh, already know. He smiles almost as if that was the point, and she kind of leans back a little in his chair. Oh, this is fair, but maybe you tell me about what you did before you came to Barovia. I do not know any of these things. Uh, <coughs> I got caught in a tent, to be quite honest. <laughs> and I thought you were the cleverer one of the group. She is. In theory, tents are a lot easier than practice, sir. <laughs> Me. <laughs> and I was quite happy being told, but in retrospect, I was quite happy being tangled up in a tent rather than pushed around by fog. But what Central. put you in this tent? Why were you in a tent in the middle of where exactly? I put me in that tent. I was trying to put it out. <laughs> it's not about the tent, it's more about. The whole pushing fog Barovia thing. I wasn't in Barovia. Not, in, not I, originally, no. I was in a happy forest somewhere in a tent. Whether the tent was effectual or not is none of this entire... It's not even part of the concept. He, he pauses for a moment, and although his face is completely expressionless, his eyes suddenly turn away to someone else, and you feel like... Almost like you're, you've been dismissed. Who? He turns <laughs> and looks at Lenara and what of you, both of you, he says, gesturing to Lenara twice. Um. Who's? Ha do you mean what was I doing in that forest? Yes. What were you doing? What was? What was happening before? I was. I was trying to make some supper I was traveling I do well I 
did that quite a lot. But you probably already know that too. Like I said, I don't know anything from before you arrived. I'm I'm curious. I want you to be my friends. <coughs> okay, I was in a forest before I, I arrived in Barovia. I will instant check the fuck out of that. <laughs> he looks trying, trying to get me out of the tent. Yes. I mean, <laughs> there only seems fine. He seems to genuinely mean it. Oh, honestly, you, you are all terrible at dinner conversation. I just wish for you to tell me about things. You're being, I think, purposefully vague. You could ask a more specific question. I'm not very good at storytelling. I was simply saying exactly what I was doing before I came to Barovia. Well, I say came to Barovia, more like ended up suddenly in Barovia. What would you say it was that you did? What was your main mission in life before you came to Barovia? I read a lot of books. Yeah, but this is I no read job. every book in the Neverwinter Library. Amara <laughs> 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 looks extraordinarily proud of that fact. <laughs> she sits up a little, puffs her chest out slightly. <laughs> I have not been to Neverwinter for a very long time, but it was certainly a large library. I am I'm impressed, Amara. You're I'm going impressed. to have to tell me exactly what era you went to the Neverwinter library, because it's been updated since then, and a few extra wings have been added on. I've read it all in the entire history of the Neverwinter library. Oh, it's very rude to ask your host his age. <coughs> I wasn't asking your age, just simply when you were last at Neverwinter. Some time ago. More than your lifetime. Oh. That is fair. In the last 300 years or so, we've had at least four wings. <coughs> One specifically de dedicated to poisonous plants and herbology. Hmm. These are excellent studies, he says. And he looks at your wine as he says it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Darren, you're... <laughs> Very quiet. I'm sure you can hear me with, uh, with those. <laughs> yeah, thanks for these. Been and useful, actually. For anyone who doesn't know, Theron died, and when he was brought, multiple times, <laughs> when he was brought back, he was revived with um, a large set of bat ears coming off the side of his head. He looks quite silly. Amen. But he hides it mostly with his hair, so it's not massively noticeable. People just tend to think he's an elf. Big elf. Well, I was doing what I did best. Hunting monsters. Hmm. And are you enjoying Borovia? Yeah, that's more monsters to hunt, in fact. I smile at him. You say monster, as I say unfortunate victims. Um, I don't consider the tree an unfortunate victim. Many of the spawn. Did you choose what you were born as, Darren? No. Did you? Not the first time. <laughs> Did they give you the choice you never had? <laughs> Interview with the vampire references make me happy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. No, this is good. <laughs> I was not turned, my friend. You are confusing me with a lesser being. I guess you are very old then. He kind of sidesteps that. <laughs> Looks away. Thinks for a little. Turns back. His face has been expressionless pretty much this entire time. And he turns to Ray now. I feel a little hurt, but okay. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> and sorry, what do you call yourself, Ray? Oh, mm. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, uh, Ray. Yeah. What exactly did you do before Barovia? Uh, pretty much what I'm doing now: eating, drinking, and being merry. 
<clears throat> so you were not cloistered then, with the rest of the monks? Uh, no, I sort of went out a lot and meditated and, you know, blah. Hmm. Food is so good. Mm. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. I'm hoping for something a little bit, <coughs> I guess, more honest from you all. But, never the mind. What do you mean, honest? I was 100% honest. Well, certainly nothing you told me was a lie, Amara. That is true. Thank you. To be fair, I didn't lie either. I just lead quite a mundane <coughs> life. You also leave out a lot about yourself. Mm, not much to know, really. That's pretty much it. Hmm. It should, should there be more? I had been hoping for a more, yes. I was hoping for... More worthy people, I suppose. Oh. Oh. You were chosen for specific reasons. <coughs> All of you. Well, perhaps you could tell us where you were before you came to Barovia. Hmm. That was a very long time ago. But I will indulge you've... you, I will indulge. Oh good, because you've said that was a very long time ago. At least three times, and that's always led to nothing else. This is fair. I will tell you something you have shared. I came to this land hundreds of years ago. And when I came, it was with an army. There was a large battle here, and I thought the area was quite lovely. I mean... There is not much more to tell beyond that. I arrived. I began to settle. I brought my brother to this land. I had and a brother? Yes. Uh, for the first time since you've started talking. He looks down a little bit. He, looks a little, he genuinely looks a little bit sad. Uh, my brother, Sergei. He... He was with me at this time, and my mother was on her way here. My mother's name was Ravenna. It is why my castle is Ravenloft. Named for her. It is a very beautiful name. Thank you, Lenara. Hmm. I was very it's a very beautiful castle. It only makes sense with all the ravens. Ugh. <coughs> Unfortunately, they are not to my taste. Winged vermin in this area. Like the pigeons of Neverwinter. We cannot get rid of them as much as I would like to stamp them out. Good job the other day. I'm sorry, I do not know what you mean. Of course you don't. <clears throat> but my mother sadly never made it here. Oh, not living. Um, um Amara's gonna cough slightly. <laughs> Just sort of an awkward, like... <clears throat> oh, nothing so dramatic. It is a very long journey from my homeland, and she was very sick. She died on the way here. I interred her body in the crypt. There is nothing sad about it. And I was happy here. I was lucky enough to meet a fantastic woman. Oh, do tell. <laughs> but should you not already know something of Tatiana? I believe you have spoken to people. Tatiana? Doesn't ring a bell? Hmm. No. 
Then you have not been asking people the right questions. But it is not a story for now. It is a story of sorrow, and it is not one I wish to discuss right this moment. I hope you will understand. She also is not of this world any longer. Of course. And I guess you understand why we keep some things to ourselves, too. <laughs> yes, but with such short lives. Well, the humans among us, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> Ray shaming, just a little bit. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> but I'm sure you did not come here to talk to me, to talk about me. I'm sure you came here for a, reasons beyond my invitation. Is there not any questions you have? Well, quite honestly, I came here through the fear of my own life. Um, since the invitation seemed quite terminal, were I to just decline it. I have a question. Yes? Is this icy or icy? Why did you bring us here? <clears throat> to Barovia, I mean, not to this table. <coughs> I feel like this is something I wish for you to discover on your own. No you spoilers. Were you were chosen for a purpose, and you have not yet reached that purpose. So for now, I sit back and I watch. We fulfill that purpose? Can we go home? Oh, abs of, of course. Can I insight check him? <laughs> yep. Part of me does not trust that. <laughs> <coughs> um. Mm, I, I, mm, he's not lying. <laughs> right. It's the best, but saying it in that tone is the best way I'm going to describe how what you sense. And Lenara, as far as you're concerned, he's he's lovely and he's being very very generous to you. Hmm. Well, <coughs> why did you invite us here? Just as a random, I mean, it seems rather peculiar to sort of pluck four otherwise complete strangers out of their tents um, <laughs> and. Just sort of invite them to dinner in your castle. <sighs> and you said we were chosen. It kind of begs to know why. <laughs> chosen for what reason? I mean, unless you need a librarian. I'm very good at librarians. I mean, I mean, do you have a library? Or if I you know. need a drunk, I mean, a monk. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. And I <laughs> that slip was not so Freudian. <laughs> <laughs> I need many things, and I am very happy to have you all here as potential guests in my land. Amara, you asked if I have a library. I. 100% have one of the best libraries you will find. My study upstairs has a great many tomes that I think you would find fantastic. My library alone is worth around 80,000 gold. Um, when he says 80,000 gold, I'd like Amara to sort of cough up whatever wine she's drinking and choke on it slightly. <laughs> as if she tried to gasp and drink at the same time. <laughs> So it sort of ended up with something like, <coughs> <coughs> and then she's gonna sit there and just <coughs> for like the next five minutes. <laughs> Parchment of paper could be worth so much. <laughs> you have been reading the wrong books, Theron. The important ones. 
Ah, uh, books about killing monsters, no doubt. <laughs> if you wish to see my library at some point, I'm happy to take you up there, Amara. Wow, uh, wow. Well, well. <laughs> let's, let's not. Lenara <laughs> <laughs> cuts a jealous glance at Amara. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> no! no. Sorry, it had to be done. It had to be done. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, I have no idea what I was actually about to say then. No, it's fine. Um, Oops, I broke the librarian. That you love librarian <laughs> you've broken. You've broken the librarian. This is, I'm done. I'm done. No, uh, okay, in response to that, I think I'm probably going to um, widen my eyes and look at everyone else to see what they say with that strange look of, oh, can I? <laughs> like we could yeah, stop too. you. I would very much like to see the library at some point. <coughs> if that's okay. Oh, the invitation was not to everybody. What do I get to see then? Huh. Theron, I invite you to dinner one time. <laughs> People learn from that mistake quite oh. quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never been invited to a dinner a second time. <laughs> I am 100% shocked. <laughs> so do we, do we need to insight check him to know that <laughs> <laughs> No. Well, I'm pretty sure Guys, this isn't the problem. kind of game I, I signed up for. <laughs> this is supposed to be a horror game. I am literally I your DM. Of course you signed up got. for this kind of game. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Speaking okay. of, I I'd love to it. use the lavatory right about now. Yes, Lord. That was an extraordinarily long word for you, Theron. Well done. Me? I do read books. If you wish to use the facilities, I am very happy for you to do so, but uh, Rahadri must escort you there. Ah, uh, who? This dude. He kind of <laughs> nods towards Lenara, and you can see that there's a quite attractive um, male elf standing behind her. He didn't seem to be there before, but almost as if Strahd summoned him, he has appeared now. Damn, you're sneaky. It is my entire job, sir. Very good, sir. Well, lead the way then. Roll for hotness. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, now look what you've done. Now look what you've done. I'm tainted. <laughs> <laughs> and you never they get to confiscate my here. goddamn manacles. I need them. For the elf man. Exactly. Never know what might happen. Um, hey, I, I will come back to you there and I'll take you up there for now and then I'll come back to you. Okay. And the dynamic lighting is cool. Oh yeah, you weren't here for the dynamic lighting last week, were you? I no, I was just moving through it. And I was like, wow, you're changing it exactly the right time. And then I realized, no, it's around my character. That's sick. Yep. Yeah, it it really complements like the spookiness. <laughs> it's yeah, really it cool. Does. All the shadows and shit. It's amazing. I am sad because my computer doesn't want to seem to handle it. But Twitch, I can see the dynamic Fine. Just activate it so people can see your light as well. Um, you've got dark vision, yes? Am, am I right? Me? Yeah. Hell no. No, not talking to you, talking to Theron. Oh, but it's all about me. Oh, poor humans. <laughs> you have dark vision, right? Yeah, 60 okay. feet. I haven't, I've assumed you're not using a lantern or anything, so the light I've given you is your 60 feet vision. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'll come back to you. <clears throat> Amara, Lenara, Ray, I suppose I could take you up to my study, if that is what you wish. Of course. Be delighted to see the rest of your lovely you... home. I get excluded from the study. <laughs> like, oh, the invitation is not to all of you. As soon as I leave, it's like, oh, everyone else, you can come. 
Fair enough. Make your occupation. Who knows what happened the last time you entered a study? <laughs> I'm a monster hunter. I'm a blood hunter. <laughs> Yeah, Lord, don't tie the elf to a toilet. I am lovely dinner company, thank you very yeah, much. You, you did kind of tie someone to a toilet last time you were in someone's study. Yeah, yeah that's true. Technically, that was in the bathroom. To be fair, if I were a rich and powerful vampiric asshole, I wouldn't let you in my library either. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't let you anywhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> Firstly, I'm surprised he hasn't oh, put God. you down, quite frankly. Strahd's <laughs> just kind of sitting there, smiling and listening. Oh shit, there. no, that was out of character. I wasn't doing the voice. <laughs> I'm gone, I'm out of the room. This is Yeah, you you're gone, but the rest of them aren't. Ah. Oh. Oh. Well, I wasn't doing my voice either. Okay, sorry. No, I wasn't. <laughs> that was all um, out of character. <laughs> I suppose if we're finished with dinner... Did he eat anything? No, nope, he just drank. He has finished his glass, and the glass has refilled more than once. I do want to point out I only drank two. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. Oh, shit! <laughs> if you would uh, be so kind to meet me on the third floor, if you leave this room, head straight ahead and take the stairs, at that, and take them up two, two flights, I will expect you within... Say five or ten minutes. Please. Thank you. Do not touch anything on the table of the dining room you will pass through. But, uh, okay. But what if there's food there? <laughs> <laughs> You've just eaten! That, that was just like the first course! It was a buffet! <laughs> there are would, courses at a buffet <laughs> I would recommend you follow the path I'm about to tell you pretty exact or you may encounter some of the things I did not wish you to encounter while you were here oh I guess this is a chance encounter <laughs> which is a fantastic name for <laughs> now log, log out <laughs> <laughs> Get in the scene. I would just show myself. Shut up, Theron, you're not even here. <laughs> I'm a proud mama. <laughs> when you take the stairs, go up two flights, head straight ahead into the dining room, and take the first door on your right. Please do not deviate from this path. And as he says that, his entire form seems to shimmer slightly. And he vanishes. Oh. Well, that was, that was very pleasant. Oh, dear. <laughs> Do you think if he didn't eat his, I'll be able to eat his food for him? I mean, it's just going to go to waste, right? Don't be ridiculous, Ray. That's just rude. Can oh. we just go to the library, please? Pretty please? All right, but I'm taking this wine with me, Ray's. <laughs> Swoops for a wine glass and carries it with her. <laughs> I'm just going to roll my eyes and follow after her. I'm going to pause you guys for a second. And I'm going to take your Freeze characters. Freeze frame. Aaron, can Aaron. you please move my character? Because my yes. internet is crying. I figured I would have to. <clears throat> Fine. I need to electrocute the squirrels to keep running. <laughs> you guys live in the same house. How is that happening? Oh, it's I, have a sh that. I have a terrible laptop. <laughs> okay. Aww. Where'd I disappear to? You're gone, because you don't need the map. Essentially, you get taken to the back door of the castle. Okay. Wait, what? I'll explain. Just relax. Okay. He's taking you out to the yard to poop like the dog you are. <laughs> if I open the back door, I'm gonna lift an eye and be like, really? <laughs> oh, bugger, I did that wrong. Um, essentially, he is gonna take you to the back door, open the lock, and show you to an outhouse. Wait, wait, wait. So let me get this straight. This castle is huge. And... You cut off part way through that. 
but I'm assuming yeah. it's going to the fact that it doesn't have more bathrooms. <laughs> this castle's absolutely massive, and it has a bathroom in the garden. It had, The bathroom he's allowed to use is in the garden. Oh. Awkward. Dicks. <laughs> it shows you to an outhouse. Um, from the outhouse, you can also see the... There is a carriage house. There were two horses, kind of, their heads poking out through a window. And there is a large balcony. Oh, shh. Of course there is. The balcony <laughs> overlooks Barovia. You've, you've looked up at this balcony from below many times, but you've never seen it from this angle. Oh, uh -huh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say that on the way I was on my lookout for a portrait of a woman above a fire? You can. You do not see this, however. It's literally Ooh. only around a few corners. I literally just sit in the outhouse for about three minutes, come out. Where to next? He leads you towards the stairs and you get there pretty much just as your friends are heading upstairs. Boop. Okay. You guys should be on a new map. You may need to zoom in a bit and find where you are. Found it. Essentially, essentially, you are on. Why can't I get there? Because I'm bad. Really <laughs> Technically, oh. you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Theron. Are you there now? No, you're not. Boop. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Um. You lead. Uh, uh, the stairs lead up. There are. It's dark, dingy, there are no lights in this corridor, there are no lights leading up the stairs, but thankfully at least two of you are carrying your own lanterns, and the darkness gives way to the light that you are providing. Um, those with dark vision can see a bit further ahead than the lights, but anything you see beyond there is black and white, which doesn't cause you a great deal of discomfort, because this castle is very monochrome from what you've seen thus far. As you get up the first flight of stairs, you're on a landing. There is a door to the west. And there are stairs that continue further up. Uh, well, oh, Theron, it's you? good hey to guys. see you. Hey. Yeah, they're not very good at bathrooms in this castle. You just use the bathroom, right? Yeah, I tried to. Well, I don't need to know much more than that, as long as there's... the same thing didn't happen like last time, then we're good. Nope, no tied up children. Young men? Whatever. Young men! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> um. Excuse me. We have so many things to look for in this house. Are we exploring? Are we free now? No. We're, We're going to the library. library. Yes. Say that as if I should know that. But now you do. Okay, do you know the way? I do. We, we have instructions. Oh, is the ninja following me still? No, he's he left you at the bottom of the stairs. <coughs> I mean, Strahd I want to do a, Strahd I want to do a perception he, um, check. I was expecting you in a certain amount of minutes, but beyond that... Strahd's totally watching this. So you're on the first floor. He instructed you to go up two flights of stairs. You can either... There's a... Have we gone That's up? How many have we gone up yet? You've only gone up one so far. Okay. We need to go up one more floor. Everybody rolling for. Oh, I said I'm perception <laughs> checking the ninja elf. I just rolled to see what percentage I had chance of dying. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that's fine then. <laughs> um, your perception of the, the, the words. Your perception <laughs> basically tells you that. He's nowhere near. 
Last time it seemed as if he only appeared when, when Strahd summoned him. Oh no. Okay, I follow people. Sweet. Yes. Okay, then we head up towards where we were told to go. Unless anybody has any deviate, but I will not be deviating. I will be doing the exact directions I'm given to get to the library. <laughs> <laughs> Nanara will not be deviating. No, I'm neither not will Ray. We are cowards. This okay. is a big <laughs> ass castle. Ray for oh, cowards. Okay. So are we saying you guys are going upstairs again? Yes. Yes. Okay, I will then put you on the third floor. Ba-ding. Again, you may need to do some scrolling to find where you are. Currently, you're like no. floating in midair, apparently. But yeah. Right on top. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> but yes, you've gone up another flight of stairs, and this is almost identical to the one you're in down below, except there's no door to the immediate west of you. It leads through to another small corridor. And in this small corridor, there are two alcoves. This hallway is very nearly a very awkward shape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing the tone down, Lena. <laughs> I thought... You're welcome. <laughs> it does. It looks like a penis. I'm not that is what you call a major chode. <laughs> Grimdark. <laughs> oh, if you look at it in the other direction, it kind of looks like a trumpet. Yeah. Go with trumpet, <laughs> not really mutated that. phallic object. Is do we have to go for another <laughs> flight of stairs, or is are we are we here now? We are here. Cool. I lost count. <laughs> it must no, be wrong. Okay. okay. Well, ahead of you, there are there is two alcoves. One to the left. One to the right. Each of these is depicting a some kind of large humanoid wolf <laughs> each holding a spear and a shield there are also weird, you can hear very faint squeaking noises around them and the darkness around their feet seems to be moving slightly <laughs> there is a steel door directly ahead of you and... I will perceptify the fuck out of that actually <laughs> Okay, I'll answer when I'm done Telling things. At Ooh. the end of the corridor, there is a steel door, and engraved on the steel door is a human king in armor astride a horse. There are large mountains and shooting stars in the background, and there are figures of people and wolves that frame this image the whole way around. The king looks quite magnificent, but he doesn't look familiar to you. Oh, good. That was my question. No, he doesn't look like any king. Then I was going to turn to the others and say, Do you think this castle always belonged to Strahd? Well, maybe that's his father. His father didn't come to Barovia. He didn't ask Only his mother and his brother. Fair <clears throat> point. Maybe. I'm just assuming. <laughs> maybe it's a family member. He only said his mother didn't make it. I don't mean to give the, you know, Strad the benefit of the doubt here. I'm just speculating. Well, um, because he's a blood sucking vampire. True, but he's been nothing but hospitable to us. Oh, you know, other than, you know, kidnapping us essentially and traveling us to this weird land where everybody tries to either kill us, eat us, or steal stuff from us. Or just steal us in general. Oh, wait, that's happened twice. Oh, well, we've been imprisoned a couple of times. Uh, I don't know. I, I... Potentially, Look, just... if Nerul asked you for dinner and, and you sat down with him, would you still think he was a nice guy? Who? Oh my goodness, you don't know anything about religions. Never mind, let's keep moving. Okay. Yes, let's, let's just go. <laughs> you, you wanted to meet us in like five, ten minutes. Yep. It's going to take us five, ten minutes to get anywhere. <laughs> this castle's it... huge. How long has it been? I feel like an hour. <laughs> it might just be the excitement. 
been about five minutes. <laughs> run, guys. <laughs> run. Run. So. Okay, let's go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there is a steel door in front of you. Is it open? <laughs> no. It is closed. <laughs> Does no, it open? Gonna... No one's tried. I no, tried to turn. open it. <laughs> so Nara's just going to turn to Saren and say, Hey, do, do you want to press your ear to this one? See what's on the other side. I, I open the door. <clears throat> Balls board. Amara pushes the door open, and this sounds very familiar to a description Strahd has given you in the past. There is... Well, the first thing that happens when you push open the door is dust. A wave of dust hits you. As if no one's been in this room for years. <coughs> that, was a gen that was a genuine cough. <laughs> <laughs> there is a very strange, sweet, but also pugnant smell. It's hard to describe. But you, as you step in, in the center of this room, there is a long oak table covered in cobwebs. There's a, a blanket of dust beneath them, and... Beneath that, it's still visible, but there are uh, there is a set of eight plates, silverware, quite exquisite stuff, and there's a large tiered cake on one end, slightly bent over. There is a single doll figure of a well-dressed woman on top of the cake. Suspended above this is a web-shrouded chandelier made of iron. In the south wall, there is a window, large decorative stained glass window which provides light into the room and nice. rest, resting on a wooden stand by this window is a dusty loot and there is also a tall harp shrouded in cobwebs in the southwest corner of the room okay did I examine the woman on top of the cake I was about to do that <laughs> <laughs> as they walk up to the woman on top of the cake may I please remind them not to touch anything why because that's what oh, we were yes, instructed yes, yes. to do. Do not touch anything in this room. I was just going to look at these things first. Yes, don't touch anything. Um, don't deviate. I stole on the right, so that door over there. And the Nara sort of points in this but, direction. Um, but so it's Theron, dessert. If you're, if you're, oh, <laughs> this has been here for a long time. Oh, uh, it's covered not in good dessert. It looks delicious, but it's covered in cobwebs. Uh, mm, uh, mm, uh. <laughs> examine that first examine with your eyes remember sorry what are you examining um the woman something on the floor Darren, where are you in the room? You put yourself in the oh. right place. Mm, there. Cool. Well, I don't know. I was going towards the woman, so I suppose I'm about there. Okay. Yeah, the woman's on top of the cake. As you step in, you kick something small on the floor, and as you kind of lean down to investigate it, it's a small, it's a small figurine of a man in armor. There is something sticky on the base of his feet, but it's a yeah. statuette very similar to the female statue that's on top of the cake. It look like anyone I recognize? It looks kind of like Strahd, but different. You mean like a poorly made representation of Strahd, like the ones you see on wedding cakes? <laughs> or like a close relative? Could be any of those things. <laughs> Could be all three. <laughs> I will say a cunning... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all of your questions. Okay, then I will step forward and look at the woman on the cake. Okay. The woman on the cake is gorgeous. She's, even on this little statue, you can tell that she's very pretty. This one and the one in your hand are very detailed. Whoa, 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 whoa. You picked something up? I did not pick that fucking statue up. Okay, okay, okay. 
<laughs> I, am, I am not that dumb. <laughs> okay. This statuette and the statuette you... you your foot Stared out on the floor. On the floor. Um, yeah, they are both very exquisitely made. This woman looks vaguely familiar to you. She's in a long purple dress. She's got kind of auburn hair. Very stunning face. Quite angled jaw. She's... Say I take out my little doll of arena. Does it look like arena? <laughs> Somewhat. Yes. It looks very similar to the Blinsky toy that you have. Fuck. Fair enough. <laughs> he is no fun. He's no Blinsky. <laughs> <laughs> this one is no fun. <laughs> <laughs> Mustn't be a Blinsky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. just watching him with careful and cautious regard. Like one might watch... Um, Something that, like a glass that's about to fall over. Theron. Lenara's going to look over at them and just sort of tap her foot impatiently. <laughs> Theron, can you roll me a wisdom saving throw, please? Ah, uh, fuck. Best of stats. Oh no, it really is. Shit. Oh yeah, you've got a pretty good... You should have a pretty good wisdom as a... Fuck. Okay. I have good wisdom. Terrible intelligence. Okay, fair enough. I'll whisper to you what happened. Oh, shit! Does he do something stupid? <laughs> He's about to do something stupid, isn't he? As far as all the rest <laughs> of you have, can tell, nothing's happened to him. You have no idea what's going on. He looks at the woman and then kind of turns away. Can we get moving, please? Yes. It would be rather nice. <laughs> I like Roll20, because yeah. you can do hidden messages to people. Oh, yes. For the people watching who aren't aware of this. Will they be able to see it on your thing, though? No, because no. I've added an extra player to it. That's the PI player who shows up. Um, that is basically what the stream sees, because I didn't want them to see all of my GM notes, because I've actually got notes written all over my screen, numbers and phrases and stuff wow. to remind myself of things. But I've done it in a different layer, so you can't see it. Um, which is why huh. I have their spare thing. Oops. Fair enough. I just sent a whispered message to myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the GM rolls. Yeah. So yeah, what are the rest of you guys doing? Well, Nara looks very impatient. That's what I've got. Um, yeah. Amara is... like arms crossed, foot tapping, scowling. <laughs> Amara is currently like just staring at um, Theron, who's not moving what? away from the cake. <laughs> With... I move away from the cake. <laughs> and well, just... are we going or not? Waiting Come for on. you. Move away from the cake and turn to face everyone else. Let's go. I start to follow Ninara, but I keep an eye on Theron because he's being weird and not moving through this room like he should be. Are you looking for anything in particular? What do you mean? Like you're, you're I'm looking, looking at, him, at you... Theron. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking for anything in particular on Theron. I'm just looking to make sure he's following like he should be <laughs> and not I... just staying in this room. Can you okay, me, I'll can you take... Me a perception, please? Roll your what? One, he is walking towards you guys, but two, can you roll me a perception? Yes. This, this may be important for reasons. Okay. Cool. But yeah, he is walking towards you. He just hasn't moved his character. Okay, good. I continue <laughs> to walk towards the door. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, you need to see things. That would be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> big room, big room, big room. Okay. As you open the door, you are hit with a wave of heat and light. This is very, very positive, actually. It's a nice room. Really stark contrast to the room you were just in. As whereas this room looks like it's not been used for years. The room that you, has now opened up to you is lavish and beautiful. It's, well, it's a study. 
as you walk in, you notice that there is a blazing hearth to the right. Uh, this is huge. You've been in rooms that are smaller than this fireplace. And it is blazing quite strongly. There is rolling waves of red and amber light dancing around the room. All of the shadows seem to twist and move. But whereas in the rest of the castle, a, a, a slightly moving shadow would be threatening, menacing. In here, it's almost warm and inviting. Everything in here is in order. It's beautiful. The walls are lined with ancient books and tomes. Every bookcase in this room is full to the brim with scrolls, books, old, leather, beautiful looking, and very well kept. The stone floor is concealed beneath a rather luxurious red rug. In the centre of the room, there's a large low table, waxed and polished so finely that it's almost reflective. Even, you, you notice that a lot, while a lot of the things are very lovely you'll notice that even the poker next to the fireplace, you expect pokers to be black, soot covered wrought iron, this one is almost silvery, it looks beautiful and it's resting against the wall it's incredibly polished there are large overstuffed divans in the room and there are couches that are lined the room also, there are two burgundy coloured wood chairs with padded leather seats and back cushions that are facing the hearth a huge painting hangs over the mantelpiece in a heavy gilded frame. The rolling firelight illuminates the carefully rendered portrait. It's a woman in a purple dress who looks almost identical to Arena. Oh. Uh -oh. And Strahd is sitting in one of the chairs facing the hearth. I wish to look around at all of the books. <laughs> <sighs> and Laura's still staring at the, the, the woman. <laughs> okay. Um, Amara? Yes? Are you just looking? Are you taking? Are you... How oh, no, of course. I don't take, I don't take someone's books off their shelves without permission. You think I'm some kind of heathen? Okay. Go ahead and lead yourself <laughs> to which bookshelf you're investigating. That will change what books you're going to this bookshelf. Do you know what I'm going to say? What? Roll me a d12. Ooh. This bookshelf seems to be full of novels in particular. Every one you look at is a cryptic title. And they're all very well used, but very well looked after. Cryptic as in... A completely different language or cryptic as in it makes no sense like fish fingers and custard <laughs> why would there be a book on those things cryptic I mean, as in, there are many in different languages <laughs> but i meant cryptic more in what the titles are ones that you can't really tell easily what's inside the book it's not like a guide to monsters or anything they're all very cryptic in that they, they're titles of novels you can't tell just from looking at the title what's inside they have a variety of different languages. You see some in Elvish, some in Dwarven, and some in languages that you don't know, but you recognize the shape of the lettering. And there are some languages on here that are literally nothing you've ever encountered before, even in a library. Ooh. I turn to Strahd and say, may I? He looks up from his chair. He doesn't stand, which is rather strange as he did that immediately downstairs. And he says very quietly, you may look at whatever you desire, Amara. Stare at Strahd, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Carelessness that begins to play again. No. <laughs> I will pick up a book that I think seems interesting. Okay. <laughs> Probably one in a language I actually speak. There are plenty in common, if that's what you want to go for. I don't just speak common. Mm. But it's your first language, so it would be the easiest. I also speak Elvish, Draconian, Dwarven. Ah, uh, I think that's it. Wow. You're just showing off. I am showing off. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you speak almost as many languages as Sariel did. Yeah, Ooh. this is fun. I'll um, go sit down in the chair next to Strahd. I will pick up a book and begin to flick through it. I will 
sit myself over here. Array, almost as you sit down, a oh. silver tray appears on the table in front of you. On the tray is a decanter of slightly brownish liquid and a crystal glass. Oh. I wish to uh insight I wanna I wanna check what this uh liquid is that's just suddenly appeared in front of me. Would that be insight or in It's up to you. Uh, it would be investigate if you're in, if you're trying to figure out Investigate. Oh, I'm terrible at investigating. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, shit. Did you want Welsh for a minute there? <laughs> <laughs> Seems perfectly lovely. Seems like it's whiskey. Oh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, um, I will politely ask Strahd whether I can help myself to a glass <laughs> of whiskey. <laughs> In quotation marks. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's what it is, but could be anything. It tastes gorgeous. Really well aged, very old. Better than anything you have ever had in your life. <sighs> oh, yeah. So Alright, calm Strad. down. <laughs> <laughs> I would say to Strahd, she is truly beautiful. He looks over at you, Theron, and for a moment you see a flicker of emotion over his face. You can't quite tell what it is. It, it seems to be a very instantaneous flash of a bunch of different emotions before he controls himself. And Yes, she was always the most beautiful in the land. Her name... Now I sort of whispers <laughs> yes. from all the way by the door. <laughs> Renata is entirely correct. Her name was Tatiana, and she was for a very long time the love of my life. Please note, Amara is now sitting on the floor <laughs> <laughs> and has about three books off the shelf at once now. <laughs> What happened? She was driven mad one day and she she killed herself. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear. Insight for days. <laughs> yeah. God, Sarah yes. just dropped a Jesus. bomb. <laughs> In no respect. Terrence, <laughs> as far as you can tell, and you can tell pretty much everything with that role, he <laughs> is 100% telling you the truth. She did kill herself, and he is incredibly sad about it. Aww. Mm. Now I'm sad. I've lost people important to me too. It never truly leaves you, does it? No. And after three centuries... How much you try to get rid of it? Imagine with how much you've lived. It is... something I am doing my best to try and get over. And yet also not get over. As you can see, there is someone you know who looks very similar to Tatiana. Yeah, that must be hard to bear. You should never really judge a book by its cover, though, she says, flicking through f five books at once. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> Amara, how much do you know about what happens to souls once they are in Barovia? Hmm. I can't say I've got a book on that one. Once you enter, but have it. Theron. And yes. Amara, you also. You have both tasted death in my land. I give Amara a sideways look. Oh, wait, no, yeah, I remember that. Has she been shocked today? She has yeah, she was shocked in the morning. Yeah, yeah I was shocked. I thought she was in the morning before we left. 
You left no, before. You, you, you were gone when they woke up. You. You're the only person that could chuck her. I could set yeah. her on fire, but... Why I am I not dying? Because, <laughs> although you got up a lot earlier today than you did yesterday, you have a couple more hours to go. Yeah, it oh, doesn't good. actually happen at dawn, so that's <laughs> fun. <laughs> dawn was just a quick way for you guys to remember to do it. You have both yes. tasted death in my land. What did you see when you died? What the did anything. I see when I died? Nothing. Came back with that here. You saw nothing. You saw blackness. You felt pure despair and then you came back. You have seen what happens to souls when they pass in Barovia. More that they don't pass in Barovia? Exactly. Souls in Barovia stay. Some of them become something else. Some of them are reborn. And he pauses for a moment, looks around at you, and then holds his hand up towards the painting. Well, she does look very similar, but Arena doesn't seem like she remembers you at all. <clears throat> I have managed to have conversations with Arena, but twice. In these two times that I managed to speak to her, she had flashes of memories of our life together before. It is partly the confusion linking that life with this life that drives her so far away from me. Oh my god! What the Whoa. fuck? <laughs> Something shouted Leroy Jenkins, get, I'm assuming guess, someone's phone Guess off. who just came home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's okay. It's such a dramatic moment! <laughs> if you're gonna come in, coming into Leroy Jenkins is the way to do it. Yeah. Amara sort of shuffles to turn slightly round, like twists her entire body slightly, because she's kind of facing a bookshelf and is surrounded by at least seven books <laughs> to actually join in this conversation. Well, it seems rather peculiar that you seem quite powerful yet unable to talk to her. Have you... did you ever... This may be a very personal question. Did you ever find out why she killed herself? It is partly what I would like to find out from Irina once her full memories have returned. I am confident that if I get to spend a long period of time with her, I would definitely be able to remind her of this. Don't you she potentially... Got that time now. Nope. Or potentially, don't you think that giving her her memories back might m again make her depressed and want to kill herself and then you'll lose her again? Just an observation. He looks angry. Whoops. He stands up and walks over towards the fireplace puts his hand up on the shelf the mantelpiece that, le that is beneath the painting I take it Amara you have never been in love um I've read about it yes you read you read, and you think this gives you knowledge of the world. You read, and you think you can tell people what it is like to encounter these things. You can tell people how to feel. I'm not telling anybody how they should feel. I'm just suggesting that this might be an occurrence that you should potentially be wary about, just in case. You wouldn't want the same thing to happen again. That's all I'm saying.
I... <clears throat> what do you suggest, mortal? Oh. <sighs> Please, well. enlighten me. Well, for one, what I gather from Rena is she seems quite terrified of you. Um, it might be best to approach a woman with a little less fear, perhaps? It, you're very good at it, by the way. I'm not saying you're not bad at it. I'm actually quite terrified right now, which is why I'm babbling. But perhaps less terrification. That, I made that word up. And more gentle. A gentler approach might mean gentler memories, which might give her the support to get through whatever it was Tatiana didn't get through, if that makes sense. Can Denara cast message to say to Amara, you should shut up now, <laughs> yes, <laughs> so you should stop you, talking? Um, you can, but if you, you would be aware that there are vocal components to message, therefore you casting yeah. it would mean Strahd probably knows that you're casting it. I mean, you're still welcome to do it, just... In that case, I might just say it out loud because I don't, I don't really care if it is. You should probably stop talking. No oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm Irish. She's talking to you. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm waiting for an answer from Strahd because I finished what I had to say. <laughs> He is young. She doesn't know about the world yet. Well, there is one thing I agree with. What have you treated Arena since you've gotten your hands on her? What are you talking about, gotten my hands on her? Well, don't you have her? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> His She's eyes suddenly widen and he turns to look at the rest of you. You have lost Irina. We did our best to defend Irina from what we thought was you. Hmm. Have you not been listening? I would never harm Irina. Then perhaps we have an ally now. We thought she'd be here. It was taken by a vampire. And you know this how? I examined the body of the man who was with her. He was drained by a vampire. You doubt my ability to check which monster killed a human? He looks at Amara. Amara, while your monster hunter friend was gallivanting off somewhere other than here, rudely ignoring what I wanted from him, can you please tell him what it is you have learned? I just chime in. I was gonna be on time. Oh. Tell him what it is you have learned about who took Arena. I. Uh, what did I learn? <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, I. Do none of you remember what happened last week? I remember um, there was a vague thing about, um. Some... This Tani took her the... away, I think. Yeah, I heard, no. I heard... No, 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 I heard... Like, let me finish. I heard the Vistani had taken her and they had a blade to make it look like a vampire bite, but then I also heard that the body was examined and it was proven not to be a vampire bite for various reasons. Or not to be a blade for various reasons, because it had to be a vampire bite because she was missing... The priest was missing the blood or whatever. I thought that theory of it being the Vistani was disproven. Uh... By when we left the curse's office, is 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 Dick? Is is Dick? What was his name? Yeah. Sorry, say that again. When we lifted the curses off the guy who was telling us that it was the Vistani, he was then like, "Oh God!" So someone's been controlling him, and the body being examined, it was discovered. I swear, it was disproven. Opposite. Is Dick? Oh, Isaac's, sorry, I must have completely Isaac's got the. Told you he was the he. They have seen Vistani with vampire blades before. Oh, okay, well then I completely, completely misunderstood that entire thing and thought we were here looking for Arena. 
Nope, you're here because he threatened you. But... Well, that too. But, um, no, as far as you... Um, Theron isn't aware, but the rest of you are aware that... While Irina was taken, the vampire, the vampire, the um, cleric that you found killed had blades in his throat to make it look like a vampire bite and had been drained of blood, but you were told that they pretty much are sure that the Vistani took her and used those blades to make it look like a vampire. Apparently the GM mic audio dropped. Oh, I heard it. He said the Vistani were the ones who took No, her. I mean, like, on the chat, they're saying the GM's audio is dropped. Oh. Oh, that's oh. weird. Um, that's weird. That's fine. That would have completely changed what I said to Strahd. I would have never said, oh, you don't have her then. Hello. <laughs> there was a bit of a delay on the channel because what I'm seeing like, on the screen isn't actually what's happening in real time. No, it's not. There is going to be a delay because that's in case anything goes wrong and I can shut it down, but... They should be able to hear... I mean, it's going to be late, but they should still be able to hear me talking. I can see my lips moving on the screen. I think there was a bit of a delay on the channel, because what I'm seeing... I oh, we, I just checked it. You can definitely hear you. It's fine now. If anyone's having a problem, it's done their side. Sorry. Okay, hopefully I should be back now. <laughs> Could be. Oh, Mr. Craig, you said he can still hear you. It's just fainter than earlier. Do you know what it probably is? Raise your voice for a bit and the microphone has reset its settings. Yeah. Because. There we go. Hopefully that should be okay now. Um, please do say if it messes up again, Mr. Craigie. I would be very appreciative of that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll get back to it. Yeah, but yeah, that would have completely changed what I just said because I wouldn't have said, oh, don't you have her because I'd have known he doesn't have her. Well, everything's conjecture at this point. You've, you think it's a vampire because the guy was drained of blood and has these two bite marks. Izek, who wasn't in the best of mental standing, is very much telling you that it wasn't, but you don't know either way. Essentially, you your characters, because you've not seen her and stuff. Okay, so he's yelling at me about the telling thing, so I will go back to telling him then. There was a theory that the Vistani took her, that they have blades to make it look like a vampire attack. But that seems rather awkward since the body was drained of blood as well. So unless they've got an extraordinarily good pumping technique, it seemed a bit odd. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Sorry. I will turn to Strahd and say, Oh. And to be I fair, guess. Strahd, we weren't exactly a hundred percent. We didn't really know what you wanted to invite us here for. Firstly, I'll have you know that the Vistani are fantastic pumpers. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't the Vistani work for you? How many Vistani have you pumped, Strat? <laughs> hey, if the Vistani work for him, the Vistanis are the ones doing the pumping. <laughs> Can Ray just sort of like choke on her whiskey a bit when he says that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> anyways. <laughs> also, don't, don't the Vistani work for you? The Vistani do often work for me. I'm not in control of them. They choose to do this. If some have yeah. gone off and done something else, I will find out about it very shortly. But Irina... Mm. Irina does not... I cannot see Irina. I made this choice a long time ago. And I cannot reverse it any longer. Reverse. Wait, what no, exactly? I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a Sorry, I'm not following. I can't, can't look at her. He can't scribe. look at her from across. I yeah. have blocked oh. myself and all others from tracking Irina. Oh. Well, that's making life a little awkward for us. Uh, but genuinely, though, with the Vistani being quite loyal followers of you, and even if the Vistani had, Vistani had took her, we kind of assumed that you would have her. Whether you vampires had taken her or the Vistani. Seems like a safe bet. But, as you've now said, apparently that's not the case. 
Theron looks at Amara very angrily. <laughs> she means to say that we're just as distraught as your loss at you, but we thought you had her. <clears throat> know anyone who might have taken her? There is now a small pile of about 15 books. <laughs> Half of a shelf is now empty. <laughs> Thus far, wow. the only idiots who thought they could take Arena and get away with it were you. Well, that's Wait. a bit harsh. That's us. Oh, I drank way too much. I'm milk. sorry. Harsh, I invite you into my home, a grander house than any you have probably ever encountered. I feed you delicious food. I feed you wine, I bring you up here, I let you look through my tomes. Some of which, he looks at Amara and he's glaring at her, opening her. <laughs> some of which are worth more than all of your lives combined. Put them back on the shelf. Okay, I stand up and take a step towards Strahd. As you take a step towards him, oh, four spectres appear on the other side of the room. Move again and you all die. Misunderstand <sighs> what I wish to do. Take a step back and I will listen. I take a step back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I begin to casually put the books back on the shelf. You said you brought us here for a reason. Technically, oh, you, you we were brought here under a death threat as well, Amara, so you may you are have now been silenced. A... He has not <laughs> moved his hand. He has not spoken any words, but he looks at you and. You, you recognize it because you know this spell. You know this is one of your spells. It's cast <laughs> over you in a 20-foot cube in your area. But if you move, it seems to follow you. And he has not oh. made any movements or said any words. I mouth like a goldfish, and then I frown. <laughs> Do I notice this? <laughs> uh, you all hear Amara start to speak and then be cut off. I will then continue to put books back God for that. and read one of them at a time. I, I was saying, you brought us here for a reason. I didn't exactly tell you my story, but I think by now, since you can see most of this land, you would have realized what I do. I did not want any harm to come to Arena. As far as I can tell, neither do you did not want to mistreat your offer, except we thought you'd already kidnapped Arena. We are not here to hurt you. We are not here to hurt her. Sorry. Sorry. Continue. Anyway. You hurt me. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but I don't say that. <laughs> but just because... Just as concerned about Arena as you. We haven't met many Vistani, but they seem to have all been under your control. I had no idea the Vistani might have taken Arena. Our help in finding her, or do you think you can do it yourself? If you all bring me Arena, I will let you go home. Ah, shit! I turn back to the group. Laura looks very interested. Ray looks concerned. Amara just looks. <laughs> she's still vaguely annoyed that she's been silenced and doesn't like the general hypocrisy here. <laughs> Nora likes general that. hypocrisy. The taste of her own medicine. Can I insight check to see whether him saying if we bring, bring Arena, we'll go home is true or not? Like, tell if he's lying? Sorry, say that again? Can I roll an insight to check if Strahd is lying about whether we can go home? You can. That's a fair point. I would like to do that also. Oh, actually, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Hey, Kieran, there's a question for you in the chat. It's okay. Yeah, what? <clears throat> no way. <clears throat> uh, with the 22, do you think he's 
telling relatively the truth. Be the truth. Hmm. You know. The spectres away. Hmm. And could you put the spectres away? And I turn back to Strahd. I think, let us say this is a test. And he kind of oh, floats God. back that way and floats through the wall and out of the room. Bring it the fuck on. I'm going to light up both of my blades if I have time to do this. Am I still silenced? No, as he leaves the room, that silence goes away. Um, <sighs> I would like to Do guys... I still light, Rod? <laughs> <laughs> No. In the library. He's still like, damn, he was a <laughs> cool <the> guy. <laughs> <laughs> you can you please roll me initiatives, please, everybody. We're gonna have some combat. Oh, can, we take, can we take a small break before the combat? Because the librarian. That is not pee. a bad idea. I would quite like to use the restroom as well. <laughs> so, please. Uh, can I say you, you can roll your initiatives, and then we will have a break. We will come back at. Let's give it five minutes. We'll come back just after 9.40, okay? Cool. Thank yep. you all about I will viewers. say to the person who answered, who asked the question, it is a coincidence. What I was actually imitating was Travis Willingham's impression of a blood hunter, which I think was essentially Geralt as well. Oh. <laughs> Impersonating someone else's impersonation. Of yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was like he did, he did a blood hunter where he was likened, so he was a werewolf, but it was the very okay. same, like... I'm hunting monsters, kind of thing. No, that makes sense. I, I didn't think of that, but I because I knew you accidentally had a Geralt voice, but I know you'd never played The Witcher, so it was like hey, you you kept saying to me, "This is pretty much a Witcher, dude. Play Witcher three, and then I played Witcher three, and I was like, "Oh my god, I am Geralt." Yeah. <laughs> You're also, also Batman. Witcher three is awesome. Right. Also Batman. Um, we'll say nine forty-five. Um, everyone watching, I hope you stick with us. We'll be back in literally five minutes, and yeah, we will be back very, very shortly.
And we are back. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So, uh, just before we left, the party <coughs> managed to piss off Strahd a little bit. They've kind of pulled it back. The in party. Middle. Okay. Hey, I was doing real well. <laughs> yeah. Amara managed to piss I off Strahd. Um, hey, Lenora and Ray are just kind of sitting, chilling, watching all of this unfold. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not my I... fault he's a hypocritical bastard. <laughs> Did I manage to light up my blades, or is that going to happen in first round? That's going to be a first round thing, I'm afraid, because you weren't expecting it, so... Yeah, he what did kind of, kind of just like fall away. Blades? Bonus action. Um, oh my god, no, the start of your turn, mate. Yeah, that's cool, man. Um, Take the bonus right. action before the action. You're 100% yeah. you're 100% able to fight. It's just that you've noticed it. You think it's special, and you need to you need to do what I told you to do. Okay, Derek. Okay. Mm. <laughs> cool. Okay. Right. In that case, <laughs> we start the battle, and all of the spectres rolled lower than the players. So, Ooh. wait. As Strahd whooshes back through out of the room, he takes on a kind of incorporeal form. You can see through him. He's semi-transparent. And he literally, there is a door there, but he passes straight through it, and you can't hear him or perceive him in any way, shape, or form anymore. And as he does that, the spectres, which have been floating there menacingly, but not moving, dash towards you. Ray, you are the first person in the fight, and I need some battle music, I think, because this is, this is too calm. Yeah! Dovahkiin, Dovahkiin. Not gonna play that. <laughs> no, that'll get you <laughs> copyright stricken. Last thing I need is more copyright strikes. <laughs> you already got one. No, I got a monetization though. So yeah, that's not too bad. It's not too bad, but I figured I don't want to chance it. Chance or count. Oh, 16. So, 16 I'm people so watching right I'm now. I'm so glad I'm on the other side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay, 16 viewers. Hey, viewers. I love you guys. Can Can Mr. Craigie make me a cup of tea while he's making chocolate, please? Uh, hot coffee, please. <laughs> In fact, uh, apparently I want chocolate, not <laughs> not tea. Freudian slip in the best kind of way. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yep, yep. Put in our orders with Mr. Craigie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who goes first then? Wait for Ray. It me! Okay, cool. Uh, this is going to probably be a terrible idea. Also, um, um, I do want to say, we haven't really focused this so much before in fights, but where objects are in the room, that's where they are on the fighting map. So, Ray, for example, you can't walk up, because that's where the back of the sofa is, you need to go around it, and things like that. If you want to go over the table, you're going to have to roll me some acrobatics and things like that. Okay. I, I know that was going to be room. my... That was going to be my terrible idea. <laughs> go for it, I like terrible ideas, I'm a favourite kind of idea. Yeah! <laughs> Ray's had a few drinks, she was chilling out, relaxing... Shooting some people Brexit. while cyber school. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, um, no, she was having a drink and then the guys appeared and she's like, oh, man. So she's going to try and jump over the sofa and smack this guy with her staff, which could end terribly. But so let's do it anyway. Check, my D20 plus. My acrobatics. Oh, I didn't realise it was that high. <laughs> nice. Um, what I'll say is you man you absolutely managed that, and I'm going to say you can stand like on the back of the sofa. You're not standing on the back of the sofa, you stood just behind it, but you, you vault over the sofa and you attack. Yeah! Uh, let's double check my thing. I should really set up macros sometime. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Nope, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No, yeah. Sorry. Plus seven. Yeah, it's a plus seven now. Yeah, that's right. That misses, I'm afraid. Dang it! Uh. Oh. In a second. I can do. Can I do two hits and an unarmed strike? Yep, two staff hits and an unarmed strike. Okay, cool. I. For some odd reason, I've just had a brain fart and forgotten what I do. I think I'm still in cleric mode. Sorry, Damn it! <laughs> you punch the shit out of things. I do. I've got to rely on my it's hit. You have to I've got to go. punch him. Yep. Can I punch him? Your punch connects. Yes! Why am I so good at hitting things? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, 
damage. That's my damage. Okay. Um, with two swings and misses, you manage to pull down your staff. It goes straight through the thing. It seems to take no no damage whatsoever. You swing again, same thing. And just as you're thinking, God damn it, I can't even hit this thing. They're too powerful. You swing in a punch and you connect. And it's as solid as anything else you've ever punched. It's corporeal as far as you can feel. Slam! And it takes 10 damage. Hey! Okay, cool. And that's all I can do. So. Excellent. Lenara! Okay! I will say, Lenara, that that is... at the moment you're hearing it... a strong cackling in the back of your mind. <laughs> Why did you guys stand so fucking close to the bad guys? Seriously, I have one powerful spell. We happen to be melee fighters. Try to go first next time. <laughs> <laughs> Roll God. hard. We can't or I help it. Cast it regardless. You know. Sorry, we're just the... doing our job. You've you blown me up how many times? You can hit Ray once. Come on. <laughs> Would it pass as a turn if Lenara kind of said? You want to take this one and let the other one take over? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, use it. Uh, yeah, no, I'll say you can do that as a free action. But, no, we'll say a bonus action to let the other one take over. But I will say that, um, I'd like it's you to roll me idea. a straight d20 for reasons. Oh god. What? Oh no, no, I don't so like when you say that. But she wants to blow up everything. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, oh, Actually, make it a d100 yeah. since you. Since, make it a d100. But you're not going to roll on the wild magic. magic table, are you? No, no, yeah. although you do owe me. But no. <laughs> okay. Okay. You are okay. Absolutely. Andy was a good year. Oh. Although I would, I would, if if I can, if I can make that a roll on the wild magic table, I would totally take that. Can't remember what it is. Um, basically, it means um, if I die within the next minute, I immediately come back to life, as if by the reincarnate spell. <laughs> Become yeah. a frontline fighter. Blow yourself up. I didn't turn it into a fucking aloe vera this time. <laughs> <laughs> I, you were the cutest aloe vera plant I've ever encountered. I, I just was don't think I could. I was bald. Yeah, I just don't think I could handle the puns from Amara, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of, I think you're, my favorite character of yours is the plant. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't realize that I was chaotic evil when you t when I turned into that plant. If so I was still chaotic, chaotic evil when I emerged. You would be a pile of ash. <laughs> it's fine. I'm <laughs> just holding a chaotic evil plant. It's chaotic okay. <laughs> evil plant sitting there draining all of the nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Okay, right. Continue. I am going to. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't expended any sorceress points. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna expend a sorceress point. Why is that not blocking out? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out my spell table. And I'm going to cast. Ooh! Are spectres undead? Or are they just like spirits? They are undead. They're undead. They're undead. In that case, I would like to cast Chill Touch on this dude and this dude. Oh, you twin spelling it? Yep. Awesome, go for it. Because I was going to firebolt them, because that's more powerful, but um, they will get disadvantage against any attacks made before my next turn. That is true. Uh, so, first one, let's say it's on the dude on the end. Okay. Uh, oh, that <laughs> I'm assuming that hits. hits. Yeah, that definitely hits. Do you want me to roll damage before I do the next attack, or just do. Um, since they're separate, I would say just roll it again. Let's we'll see if they both hit. Okay. That hits too. Cool. Damage one. Oh! Jesus. <laughs> damage two. Jesus. Yeah, nice rolls. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm on level two with my cantrips now, but they're, they're pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, as Nara kind of casts, holding her hands together, she lifts one hand forward, and 
Behind both of these spectres, a, a, a skeletal hand, glowing blue, comes up out of the floor, latches onto their backs, and they both have a horrific screech as these things flood them with... Well, you can... Oh no, they're cantrips, aren't they? Is this a cantrip? Banara? Yeah, cantrip. Oh, sorry. Is uh, it yes, it is a cantrip. Yeah. Then you can't use your fire thing to make it fiery, but they take a good amount of damage anyway. A good amount of damage. You've done good here. <laughs> I forgot about my fire thing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, your fire, your gauntlets of the Afrit let you turn any any level one spell or higher into flaming stuff. So, because I thought doing it on cantrips was a bit nuts. I think every first level spell I have is already a fire spell. <laughs> I'm a bit of a pyromaniac. <laughs> yeah, it is. I've literally only got Scorching Ray and Fireball, and they are both fire. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> That's right, that'll change. Yeah. Honestly, set fire to this library and kill you. I know she's good, but she will kill you. <laughs> hmm. Um... Then yeah, I'm just going to see how far I moved. So I moved 25 feet. I'm then going to move 5 feet back. But like as I move back, I don't step back. I'm sort of like jumping up and down excited and just happen to jump like <laughs> 5 feet back. <laughs> it's not had a chance to do anything like this in a while. You did Aww. awesome. Um, but yeah, no, that's great. You've done good damage. It is now Amara's turn. Whoop whoop. Um, I would like, if I may, to turn undead. Ooh. 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 I know you had that as a bard. I will get my yeah. shiny necklace that you handed me about seven yeah. or eight sessions ago, oh, which is yeah. super shiny. And let you, let you cast turn undead as if you were okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do I remember Great. To turn undead in fifth edition? No, I do not. So I'm gonna I go can <laughs> send you. I, I will send you the compendium link. Here it is. That's alright. I got it. Uh, essentially, they all need to make. Oh wait, hold on. I need to move forward slightly. <laughs> Too far away. Yeah, I'm gonna take a five foot step. At least I will. That's not me. That's why. Uh, I'm gonna take a bigger five foot step. Called a ten foot step. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Wisdom now all of them can hear and okay. see me, and I would like them to all make me wisdom saving throws as I cast Turn Undead with the necklace around my neck. Okay. I'm going to roll four different times. I'm going to start from the left and work my way across. Yep. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming the DC is probably the same DC that the necklace has already for one of the things. Hold Vampire has a DC of 15, yeah, so I'm assuming be. the rest of it has a DC of 15, because that isn't clear. So two passes, two fails. Two passes and two fails. Okay, I'm going to mark so, the ones that failed, and they'll do it on their turn if I'm correct, yes? Yeah, if a creature fails a saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. The turned creature then spends its turns trying to move as far away from me as it can and cannot willingly move into a space of within 30 feet of me. It also can't make reactions. It also, because I'm wearing this necklace, gives disadvantage on saving throws to protect against undead. Okay, cool. But I think that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I now have a disadvantage on the saving throw. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah. Yeah. Two of them are For its ahead. action, yeah. For its action, it can only use the dash action or try to escape in an effect that prevents it from moving. This is 100% true. Okay. Um. I believe that's everything. Okay. I think for now. Okay, okay. Um, that's not a bonus action, so... We decided Bardic Inspiration wasn't a bonus action, didn't we? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Oh. Okay. 
This is fine. <clears throat> is that your turn then? I believe so. I don't think I have any other bonus actions unless Counter Charm is a bonus action. Nope. No, it's just an action. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm. It says, as an action, can sing to give friendlies advantage on saving throws. Um, I was just going to read. Colin, you're thinking of Linara's version, which lets her disadvantage bad guys with a reaction. I can also disadvantage bad guys with a reaction. That's your higher level one, isn't it? That's something else. But yes, can... that's cutting words. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Damn mages. But yeah, okay. Then that brings us to Theron's go because the spectres were all going last. Can I ask which of the spectres got blown the shit out of by Lenara? Uh, Lenara hit these two on the two on the, this end. Wow, my ping Ooh. is rubbish here. These two over here. <laughs> but Ray has also managed to hit well, this one here. She's not as hard. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Punched him. Right up into these fuckers' business. I'm going to attack. Well, bonus action. I'm going to light up one of my blades. Yep. And while doing that, I'm going to grab the little blood hunter emblem and say, Rav on this. And then I'm going to attack the shit out of that one. I don't remember what your magic sting does anymore. Oh, don't worry. It doesn't do anything yet. Um, Sword hit. Fuck. That is a critical. So can you please roll me damage for that one before doing the next one? Wow. Uh, 10 plus 6 plus 8. Plus 8. 24. Eh. Why aren't you letting me click you? Oh, this kills the crab. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Theron dashes forward, cutting himself with one of his blades, making it glow. A, a, a bright, radiant white colour and slashes upwards into the wraith, dousing it with his own blood, and it fades from existence. As I do that, I'll say, you dare to test me. And I'll dash over to that fucker. Hey. Right. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, fuck it, I will. Put him in that one to the right. Oh no, he can't take reactions. Awesome! Okay, yeah, then I'll attack this beast. That one can make reactions, but that one can't. The ones he ran yeah, past the ones can't, with so the they can't attack. Can't. Yeah. No, they can't. Sorry. Yeah, that's <laughs> skill so is awesome. Hit. 26. Fuck. That hits. This is non-silver. At the storm. 13 total. As you slice one in half, you run over to the other one and slash into it. It lets out a whale and it separates in the middle and then kind of back together, it's it's gaseous form kind of reforming in front of you. Ghosts. And that's my turn, because I used my bonus action. Okie dokie. Awesome. Spectre's turns. Well, the one on the end runs away. Oh wait, sorry. I do 11 damage, not 13. I forgot, the right of the storm is only on the one blade. My that's bad. true. Okay, well, the wraith on the end runs away. The wraith oh. next to Theron goes to run away, so you will get an, a, a reaction to it. Hit. 20 spark! That hits. Jesus Christ, you're rolling really well for your attacks. <laughs> um, that one is my main thing, so yeah, 14. Yep, it does not kill it, unfortunately. And you slice into it, and the, wisp of, the wisps of kind of incorporeal energy kind of float through the wall. <laughs> And the last spectre looks incredibly angry at you. <laughs> Two of its friends have run away and one of it's died. <laughs> well. Ooh. Theron. Oh, yeah. Gonna attack you. Oh my god. That does not hit. I figured, I'm going to try again. <laughs> that ridiculously hits. <laughs> okay, so it hits you with its second attack, and it is going to life drain you. Can you more make me a um, um. Hi. What? Can I please do a reaction? Yep. I'd like to cutting words to reduce that attack roll. Okay, go for it. 
pretty you've hard. Got, you've though. got to say something, though. Okay. Bear with me. I bite my thumb at ye. There. Yay! Shakespeare! <laughs> Balls. Oh, <laughs> it was really shit. That was reduces it I to tried, three. man. As to be fair, my AC is good. It would have had to be a full eight to actually stop it from hitting me. I tried my best, man. I tried. <laughs> yeah, sadly that doesn't work. Um, Theron, can you oh. make me a constitution saving throw, please? 19. Okay, you take 14 necrotic damage as it grabs onto your arm and you start to feel your life pouring out of you but you do not take permanent HP loss sweet Jesus these guys are bad these are the weakest things Strahd could summon but permanent HP loss that's fucking terrifying <laughs> it wouldn't yeah. be that it wouldn't be full damage yeah Um, and that's the inspector's entire go. It is Ray's go again. <laughs> bit, this is bad as Farron's in a bit of a pickle, but... Um... <laughs> Too bad for your tang. <laughs> what... Farron's in a blood rage right now. What was... Where was the, um... You Silver poker. You could wait till after the battle raid. It's not like a comparison. You can wait if you want to. Uh, <laughs> I'm conflicted because of a shiny. <laughs> Up to you. You can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> okay. This. Oh, this could be such a terrible idea, though. It'll make things more interesting. Where's that silver poker at? <laughs> the silver poker is right next to the fireplace. It's here, kind of lean, um, kind of attached to a wall, kind of in a bracket. <clears throat> Can I sort of? Uh, yeah, I can. I can do that because I'm unarmored. I can do a five step there and then. Dear. Yeah, you'd have to uh, jump over the chair, but you can do that. Oh, is 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 me not going here and then from there? Or is that... Oh no, this chair here. Yeah. Cool, let's just jump over the chair anyway, why not? <laughs> <laughs> this whiskey has gone right for it. Ahead. Okay, Bro, I'm going to do an... Acrobatics. I'm going to... Acrobatics. Yeah! <laughs> Honks, man. You take a step to the... You step around the... Ta the there, the sofa, break a running dash, mm -hmm. jump, kind of somersault in the air and land in front of the poker. Phew! Uh, and I want to have a look at this poker. D uh, do I need to roll insight, perception, investigate? Investigate if you're looking at it closely. Uh, do you say I had to... Oh, no, I want to pull it, don't I? Yes. That's what you said I had... That's okay, what, what? That's what I want to do. I really want to pull it. Here comes the <laughs> trap. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> it's all good. Shinies can't be resisted. <laughs> uh, uh, what do I have to roll to just. I don't want to, like, yank it. I just want to do a very gentle, like. Little oh, pull. You, the roll Master strength. Sword. Roll strength. Okay, what's my strength? Roll me strength. Uh, where is my strength? Where is my strength? Um, I'm in the wrong place. There it is. I'm not very strong. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good or bad. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> oh, good. I was compelled to. You pull the poker and a door in the back of the fireplace opens up. Oh! I mean, there's a roaring so fire between you and that, but the door has opened. Uh, if 
If Harrison Ford and Sean Connery can get through a fire in a fireplace, then so can Ray. <laughs> They ain't That's even months. Cool. You'll have to wait till your next one. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. Okay. Is that oh, your I'm action? done. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Lenara, you okay? <laughs> Sarah? She has rolled. We can't hear you, Sarah. Did you mute your mic, Baxton? Uh, no, it's glowing. Can yeah, you, I'll can you refresh? Can you refresh um, Discord? Yeah. Refresh. <laughs> too many undeads. Too many undeads. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 That was weird. Um, okay, so I'm gonna firebolt this dude. Uh, spell yeah. attack. Miss. Um, actually, that will hit. Yay! Oh, I could do a thing. You're firebolting, right? Yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, I've got new, I've got, I've got new toys. I want to see if this works. Oh. <gasps> oh, nice. Sorry. It's part of the things that um, that um, Miss Ree got me as an upgrade. I can do all kinds of fun things with it. And Damn, I don't even so get cool. to see. That was oh. so cool. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, I think it's the burst one. So yeah, a firebolt shoots from your hand and slams into her, exploding and causing enough damage. Oh no, not quite enough. She explodes, she rages, turns to look at you and screeches and you're not, she's not very happy, but... I scream back a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Considering the other one is in control, one, yeah. 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 Ah! Ah! <laughs> so you screech back at her in like a really horrific manner, and then it's Amara's turn. Woohoo! Um. Try it again. Try something fun. Um. Oh god, this is difficult. Life is difficult, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone dying? I can't We're support you if you don't now. need support here. The spectre's dying. Uh, I think Theron's <laughs> the only one who's actually taken damage. Yeah. yeah. Is it enough? I mean, you could probably see he's bleeding. He's not massively injured. Did you take the HP loss for lighting up your blade too? Yeah, I, I took that already. Okay, cool. Okay. Then I will cry a little on the inside. <laughs> um, <laughs> wonder where all of my cantrips went. <laughs> this is all good. It's all good. Uh, I believe this is a bonus action. Not really sure. No, it's not. Oh, that's a bonus action. Found it. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. I would wish to turn undead again because asshole, and I can. Yep. Okay. So it's a. Undead above you. Fuck me! It fails again. Wow, really? So. Okay. As a bonus action. Oh no! It's I wish. Sorry, it fails. You succeed. Oh, sweet! It was a DC 15, so wasn't it? Yes. Mm. Whoop, whoop. And you have turned another undead. Yay! Um, <laughs> okay, I also wish to, as a bonus action, uh, cast Healing Word on Theron. Which means that I will put a 1d4 plus my spellcasting ability modifier, which is... I think it's... Is that the spell attack bonus, which is an 8? Yeah. Okay. Roll 1d4 plus 8. That's not where I can roll that. That's the Twitch chat. I'll get there one day. I'll get there one day, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> brain will brain will function. Try it here. Hey! Yeah, this is healing word. Damn. Powerful healing spell. Uh, yeah. Only a, if I roll high. It's a bonus action, too, and it's rapid. 
Is it ranged? It's definitely ranged. Yes, yeah, it's, it's ranged. Yeah, so it's a ranged bonus action healing spell. It's pretty good. So you gain 12 HP back, Theron. Theron's looking pretty damn unscathed at this point. I'm just going to sit back and chill. Brought Theron pretty much back to full HP. Well done. I'm a good bunny. And it's Theron's <laughs> go. Oh, slice and dice like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you want me to roll all three attacks at once? Just do the yeah. first one. You could use that really cool macro that I got you. Yeah, that's what I was going to yeah, roll. Yeah, do that. But... Do that. That's fine. Okay. Then ignore that one. That. So I'll say 19, 20, and 14, all of which hit. And all of that damage, and all of the damage in the world. Theron basically <laughs> sees this creature look scared, and as it turns to flee... Just kind of goes, you're not going anywhere. And cuts it straight all in half. Nice. Eight ghosts. And the battle is over, and you have successfully killed the spectres. And not damaged any of the books. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus! That's a win! So, you will have noticed that Ray left kind of halfway through the battle, kind of walked <laughs> over to the fireplace, pulled on the silver poker, and you heard the door open up. But the door is on the other side of a blazing flame. Alright, this is your area of expertise. Can you douse that real quick? Which one of us are you talking to? Because if it's her... I think she could probably make it worse. And points at Lenara. She could douse flames as well? Either one of you really will work. Well, that would be fire safety. <laughs> That's true. And incredibly not fun. Oh, the other one's here. Awesome. Hi, Baron. <laughs> hey. Well, um, I'm afraid that through my... Uh, Poor luck and terrible life choices, I've never felt the need to have a fire dousing spell. Is is this poker just there as like a switch? Oh yeah, or is it's a switch. An you can't pull poker? it off the wall. You like this crunch into a secret lever. Is, is there any normal pokers nearby? Nope. Oh, oh, um, um. Hmm. And I have... Oh, God, sorry, I've got too many spells. Um, is the fire magical? You can I can it. cause flames to dim for one minute. But just their brightness what's or the, their heat? Yeah, what's the spell called? Amaturgy. <laughs> Amaturgy. <laughs> yeah, that's you can cause flames to flicker, brighten, dim, or change colour for one minute. <laughs> Do you want to really fuck with Theron? Are you going to dim it? Because... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I totally could. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to actually say that to dim flames, you would have to reduce the flame size. So what I'll say is you could use thaumaturgy to reduce but not vanish these flames. I will do that. Okay, for one minute, the flame's kind of half in size. They're about... They were roaring before, almost almost bonfire height. They're now at about knee height. Hmm. How big's the chimney? The this door is, on the other side. This is, what, the, the door, sorry? The mm -hmm. door and the chimney. Like, can you jump over the fire at this point and get through the door, or is it smallish? The door's about that big. The door's pretty big, and the chimney goes up and it, for ages. Like, you can't sit, you can't know an end of it. But this room is wide. It's basically a whole room as a fireplace. <coughs> you can totally. Aaron jump. turns back to the group very dramatically. Low, low. I need. What? What? What even does that mean? <laughs> I'm gonna try to get through to here. Roll me an oh acrobatics and a Constitution saving throw. That's fair. <laughs> Amara is just gonna kind of. Wide-eyed stare at him. 
as if this is possibly one of the stupidest things she's ever seen him do. Because, oh wait, it is! Which one's that, Ferris? No, man. That's acrobatics, that constitution. Damn. You take seven fire damage. There. But you Damn. land relatively safely. You're singed, but not, like, badly damaged. Do I, do I dare try and jump through to help him? <laughs> Entirely up to you. Um, <laughs> the other one's just going to shout, you're welcome, and make no attempt to join him in the pick over the fire. <laughs> oh, I, this night's been full of bad decisions. Let's jump over some flames. <laughs> well, completely and utterly smashed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Drunken <laughs> flame jumping. Okay, that's your acrobatics. And my constitution. Saving through. There we go. Oh, damn. <laughs> you take 17 fire damage. Oh, flipping it. That was a terrible idea. As I shouldn't have spilled that whiskey on me. You jumped relatively high, but you're pretty... Yeah, I was going to say, you've got pretty high alcohol content. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> the flames affect you a little bit worse, and but you managed to get it through. You've taken 17 damage, but you are through to the other side. Cool. Fantastic. <laughs> this was... Can, um, can... For Linara and Amara, you can both see them, and you can see most of the things in this room. So if you want to stay out, you can, or you can try and go through too. I'm happy not to jump fire. <laughs> I would like to um, cast Mage Hand and attempt to waft the flames. <laughs> what? I know it's not going to work. It's just hilarious. <laughs> you conjure a Mage Hand, and the Mage Hand begins. It begins to like hit bat at the flames, and as you do, it doesn't really make any effect whatsoever. What? What exactly do you see back there? I'm just trying to look at the room. Can I, I roll the one? Yeah, yeah! Thank goodness Farron is here. Two opposite <laughs> to the spectrum. Um, <laughs> as you look around the room, you see there is a large chest on the north wall. It's surrounded by coins. Um, you can see... From, I'm going to say that's a really, really good roll. There are literally about 300 gold pieces lying here. Um, but beyond, you see that there's the chest and there's also something underneath the gold but you can't tell what it is you'd have to move the gold to see it is there anything is that actually a dead body in there or is that just for dramatic effect oh there is a dead body in there it's an armored skeleton but it hasn't reacted to you jumping in at all it's just lying there flopping out <laughs> does it have any weapons on it no he is wearing armor though, but the armor is rusted and old. Look under the gold. Uh, I mean, <coughs> <coughs> okay, all first the gold off. in your pockets. <laughs> first off, I'd like to investigate the chest to see if it seems trapped or mimicky as fuck. Okay. Roll me an investigate. Come on, Farron. E. Seems fine. <laughs> does Ray want to do the same? <laughs> I, I think I think Ray does. I think Ray does. What, what am I rolling? Insight? Cool. Oh, investigate. Oh, investigate. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> we are not a smart group. So is Ray going to investigate too? No. I am. I'm just trying to remember what it is. Oh, it's not too bad for um... uh, Ray, it seems fine. Blank. Cool, it's, it's there open. and it seems it's just closed. fine. It's unlocked, it's just closed. Hey, if you say so, I'm going to try to open it. <laughs> okay, um, you pull the lid open, a puff of green gas escapes. Can you both throw me a constitution saving throw? Fantastic. Fuck. Yeah. You both fall into a sleep. <laughs> However, Theron, the last thing you see before you fall asleep is as you as you fall asleep, you land on the gold and your hand brushes against a hilt of a sword that begins glowing with the brightness of the sun. <laughs> but you are both unconscious. And Amara and Lara, you've seen this. Oh, for 
the love of Pelor. <laughs> you can't leave them alone for five minutes. <sighs> okay. Fine. Um, I could shoot one of them. No, no, we don't <laughs> need to shoot them. It's fine. I roll an arcana to try to figure out what happened. It was a sleeping gas trap. Okay. Magical gas? Nope. It was just sleeping like gas. Like alchemical. Yeah, it's kind of normal alchemical Balls. Gas. That's not what I wanted to hear. Okay. All right. Have I read anything that would allow me to know how to cure a sleeping gas? You wake him up. <laughs> well, thanks for that. Okay, I guess I'd better start with the jumping and the running. A door begins to slowly creep open at the back of the room. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's very slow moving, but it's like the stone itself is slowly beginning to shift to one side. I cast Mage Hand to prod them. Got an even better idea. <laughs> I cast Where's Vicious them? Mockery to yell at both of them to get <laughs> off their lazy fucking asses. <laughs> Um, we take damage? Okay, Robbie, <laughs> what damage do you do for that? It, it, it must succeed it? on a wiz... Uh, if the target can hear you, it need not understand you. It must succeed a wisdom saving throw or take 1d4 in psychic damage. Well, and they, a disadvantage. They can hear you, but they automatically fail their saving throw because they're asleep. So yes. it causes them damage. Okay, then I will roll the 1d4 and this should wake them up. They also have a disadvantage on the next attack roll they make before the end of its next <clears throat> turn. The both of them begin to stir and kind of... Theron puts one hand down, begins to push himself up. And then he coughs and splutters and him and Ray both fall back down as the room is still got gas in it. Oh, for fuck's sake, why? <laughs> <laughs> Just leave them in there. <laughs> No. As the door opens. Can you? Yeah, okay, calm down. You're asleep. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're the dumbass and fell asleep here. We've got to fix your. <laughs> it's you gonna take you estimate Amara because you're quite clever. About four minutes for the gas to dissipate. However, it's gonna take about two minutes for the door to fully open. Lenara, can you please go see who's at the door? Lenara just keeps staring straight ahead. Or you could just stand there and stare at the fire. This is fine. <laughs> well, what else would you want me to do? Go and see who's at the door. Well, you could have just asked me that in the first place, and I think it's pretty fucking just obvious. I did. You asked Lenora. Oh, for fuck's sake! Will one of you please go see who's at the door? Oh, I kind of scowls at her and thinks she could be petty. For a little while longer, but decides to go check the door. <laughs> okay, you have to jump over the fire, and you'll then be in the room with the gas. Oh! The door is over here, honey, at the other side of the room that they are. Oh, in. I thought there was a door oh. in this room with us that was no, opening, this, this, and we were like, shit. The red door I drew and started slowly opening, or slowly making sense. Okay, well then I'm not going to do that because that would be ridiculous. Okay, um. I need to think of something else to do. Um. <laughs> um. God damn it, why do I have no use useful spells? Yeah, I have um, literally nothing that will dispel gas, and the last thing I want to do is jump in there and fall asleep myself. Yeah, so but I, I prepare whole person. Well, hang on. Wouldn't whoever enters the room also fall asleep if it's filled with gas? <laughs> Unless they don't alive. breathe. The door yeah. is mm -hmm. now fully open. And oh, two vampire spawn creep into the room, laughing, looking at Amara and Lunara as they both try to pick up Ray and Theron and start dragging them away. Did, did you hear the part where I said I prepared whole person? Vampire's not a person. It's an undead. Fine! Then I will cast old vampire! You clutch your symbol, your holy symbol of raven kind, and both of them freeze. I'm not going to roll saving throws, they're only vampire spawn. And these ones are weak, these are relatively newly turned. They both Sweet. freeze on the spot. Yeah. And the gas dissipates a lot quicker now. It's pretty much gone. Sweet. <sighs> I then cast Vicious Mockery again. 
Roll me some more damage. And tell them to get up because they're about to be vampire chow. <laughs> oh, tried to do it in freaking Twitch again. I'm really not good at this. <laughs> you take three damage. Ray and Theron, you both wake up. You're very groggy. Theron, your hand is around a sword that is not your normal sword. It, is it still like, can I see it glowing? The blade <laughs> has you... disappeared entirely and you're now holding a hilt. All you're going to hear in your head is get up off the floor, you lazy piece of crap. You are about to become vampire spawn. Oh, yeah, you're well, both, I'm, a, you're both I'm got being dragged, right? No, they, yeah, they, they kind of had their arms like crooked under your armpits. <coughs> They'd started dragging you, but now they're frozen. Okay, I grabbed the very interesting hilt and tried to swing it at the vampire spawn. Okay. It and does nothing. Fuck! It does nothing. Okay. And I swing with my actual sword as well. You could just stand up and run the fuck away. I mean, yeah, you can. But these are vampire spawn, and you remember they're very difficult to kill. Ah, uh, fine. Can I just shove them off of me? Yeah. They're kind of paralyzed at the moment. They can't really move. They oh. just get up and walk away. Oh, cool. I'm just going to get up and go they're kind of frozen there kind of hunched over like because they've got their hands under your arms like they're... okay i take the help um yeah yeah i try to jump back through the fire acrobatics mm. and constitutions please did any of you decide to check what was actually in the chest that you opened and fell asleep for and it was just the gas no. is it just now? the gas it, is it just? Oh, 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 am I, mean, I, I definitely out? would have checked. I assumed it was just the gas, and I like saw that as I fell asleep. You are correct. It was just the gas. It's the treasure that was in the chest is now all around the chest. Okay. That is. Jim. Theron, you take 22 fire damage. Oh. Okay. Ray? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, no, that's bad. Another 17 fire damage. Oh, God. And I just sort of collapse on the floor. <laughs> You're unconscious. No. <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> I'm just hung over. <laughs> <laughs> Theron. And also really hurt. <laughs> Theron. Yep. You feel a strong sense of urgency that you need to get the fuck out of here now. Guys, let's fucking run. Spawn have seen us. Strahd may be back any second. Let's fucking go. And at that point, <laughs> that's where we're going to end the night. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you guys trying to get out of here is going to be a whole thing for itself next week. Not next week. Oh, oh shit. God. <clears throat> I am afraid no. that next week we are not going to be playing Curse of Strahd. Oh, no. As Kukulin is going to be preparing for a move to the States. The one afterwards. Oh, yes. The week afterwards, yeah. we should be back on track. Theron, for the record, this is what you are currently... Um, can I show it on camera? Let me see. Bring my camera up and see what you can see. Oh, shit. You are currently holding this hilt, and when you're attuned to it, you will produce this blade. Can you see the camera, Kieran? It's still oh. loading oh. on oh. Twitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, None of you guys are actually yeah, receiving my camera. But yeah, that's the hilt you've got. Oh, that's And it that's produces cool. this as a blade. Oh, yeah, that's fucking amazing. It's also alive. <laughs> it's really weird watching your camera out of context, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say? Did you say also alive? You have to wait and see, bro. Oh God, the fuck have I taken with me? <laughs> so many things. It's like fuck you, Theron. Why did you jump through the fire? At least we got the thing we came for. True. Yes. Well done, guys. Those <laughs> are still very confused about all of this. <laughs> and... Have to escape through the creepy arbors and the weird. Dining room full of death and all of that shit. I think Ray's gonna die. 
Ray makes terrible life choices, and she's had a few. I like Ray's life choices. Um, <laughs> I do not. I'm going to end the stream tonight, as a bunch of us have work tomorrow. But um, <laughs> I hope everyone had fun <laughs> and yes. enjoying Castle Ravenloft. And we'll see how well you do yes. next week with getting around it. Oh, God. <laughs> Not Why does this enough. happen every time we visit someone's house? Ever go for dinner, guys? It's horrible. Yeah. Um, yeah so far, we've never actually had a dinner invitation that went well. Nope. Yeah. No. Um, so yeah, that's going to be... We're going to not have D&D next week. We may, I may do something else, as Kukulin's going to be here, so we may do a joint thing. Um, oh. Not D&D, because um, sadly he won't have a computer. But then the week after, we're back to D&D. However, tomorrow, and tomorrow I'll be doing... I'll be streaming probably the, some of the new games I got on Steam, and I'll see. You I still want to see you play I Am Bread. That's gonna—I know it's gonna annoy the piss out of me. That's why I've been avoiding it. Because I, I, I need to know what kind of man you are. <laughs> <laughs> this can bread only be done through I Am Bread. Your personality. I am terrified of it, but we will. We'll see what happens because I may do. I may do because I know it's gonna piss me right off. But yes, that's where we're gonna end tonight. As the GM now really needs the bathroom again because he's been drinking lots of water because he has a bad throat. <laughs> I will um, see anyone that wants to come watch tomorrow. See you there. If not, I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye, thank guys. Bye. Awesome. But thank you everyone Bye. for coming. Good Bye. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>